What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kiss Move, and I am back with another review. And guess what game we're going to be talking about today? How about some Rainbow Six Extraction? Let's talk about it. All right, so shout out to Ubisoft for giving me access to Rainbow Six Extraction. Got to play this with the PX crew over the last few days. And I gotta say, I've been having a little bit of fun with this game. Uh, this is gonna be my review. I wanna try to be as concise and, and, and straightforward as possible with this game. Um, and and kind of give you guys an idea of what you're gonna get into. Now, I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest Rainbow Six uh, player. I played Rainbow Six Siege. I played uh, a little bit of you know, New Vegas uh, 1 and 2, and then some classic games uh, from from back in the day. Um, ext extraction, obviously, is, is away from what we know of Rainbow Six. Sure, it's still similar. It, it, it's borderline Rainbow Six Siege uh, with some minor changes. So, yes, you can look at this game. It's not a full... It, to me, it doesn't feel like a full package game. It's literally one mode across uh 12 different locations um and you're you're pretty much your goal in each uh throughout this game if you're you're on incursions which can be performed by yourself and or it could be performed with two other friends as a three-player co-op experience it's not much of a story sure there are there are there is like some sort of story being told in between cutscenes after you, uh, you unlock a new area the cutscenes are rendered in cgi um and it's it's not really nothing engaging it's it's your typical um cooperative multiplayer experience horde-esque but it has its own twist so you're playing rainbow six pretty much siege and instead of just saving people from criminals and hostage situations you're infiltrating these locations that's infested by uh these mutated virus looking creatures and you you got different objectives from just taking them out saving uh operatives or or scientists um you know getting samples for some some of these creatures um, they have a lot of modes to mix it in, but the, my time with Rainbow Six Extraction was more so, it was really heavily dependent on who I was playing with. So, um, do I think the game has legs? Yes, it, it, there's going to be a core piece. I don't believe people who enjoyed Siege heavily are going to migrate to Extraction. I think Extraction is going to be that side game. It's going to be... That game where a couple of your uh, friends play, and I do think uh, services like Game Pass will help this game. Now, I'm not saying Rainbow Six Extraction is bad. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but coming off of Rainbow Six Siege, it doesn't feel like anything's different. Sure, you get some graphical upgrades and stuff, especially if you're playing on the next-gen consoles. Uh, Xbox Series X um, and S and PS5 offers uh, some rate, ray tracing, higher frame rates, high resolution. So the game does look polished. It does look like a polished version of uh, of Siege. And the objectives and the missions, uh, they they are fun. They they do they. But to me, I found myself getting bored fairly quickly. I wasn't a fan of playing solo. And when I could play um, play with friends, it was cool as long as you can keep your uh, friends happy. So, but the thing is, I'm not sure if the this, this game is going for $40. I'm not sure how I feel about it. The 40 should have been free. It probably could have been a free to play game. And because this game obviously will be, have, you know, microtransactions and stuff to, you know, uh, to incentivize, you know, the different uh, operators you're gonna be using. And speaking of operators, there, there's a lot of them in this game. Um, and you're gonna be tasked to use these operators and, and, and and hopefully rank each one up. Uh, you are rewarded for ranking each one up. And at this time, the max rank for each operative is level 10. Um, the locations span across from New York City, San Francisco, Alaska. Um, and there's typically three locations in each city. So there's three lo locations in New York that you can unlock. 
three locations in San Francisco, three locations in um, Alaska and whatnot. Um, and the the game, the maps are pretty much spanned across multiple different objectives. So let's say you play a game, uh, you start a game, right? Each mission you have will have, one game is, is three objective. The goal is to do all three objectives successfully and extract at the end, which means you do what you gotta do, run back to the point where the helicopter can pick you up. Now, there are some things, some twists that, you know, allows this game to have a whole lot of replayability. And those twists consist of, hey, if you fell, if you fell an objective or two, you can just, you can extract. If you lose the operative, uh, you can attempt to save, like, a, a, if your buddy goes down, you can, you know, save, still have an opportunity to save them. If you're, if you don't save any per, uh, anybody that goes down and you extract, um, you are then tasked when you go back to that area, even if you're playing with new people, you, you will be tasked with objectives to save the last person you, you lost. Now, this game does, uh, uh, your players, your operatives can get hurt. They can get injured. They go mission in action if you don't save them in the middle of an objective, and they can die. And, and what that what that does is is it put pretty much a timer of inactivity that you can't use these select operatives through your playthrough, forcing you to essentially play with someone else and try to rank them up until your operative has recovered or if they're mission to action till you recover them. But usually when you recover them, you, you still have some waiting period to go. I think Rainbow Six Extraction is a good game. It's a good co cooperative experience. I, I There was nothing bad about the game. It's just that it, it gets repetitive. There's not quite enough there yet to keep people on their long term. Once it's released, you're gonna find yourself having a good day or two out of it but you'll find quickly that the objectives, the locations, quickly repetitive and a couple hours of Rainbow Six Extraction, you'll see that you've seen it all, done it all. And But it's Ubisoft, they typically pump content into their games. Uh, if you could spell Ubisoft any other way, it would probably spell content. Um, so I expect a lot of content from Rainbow Six Extraction. Do, will it have the same legs that Rainbow Six Siege has? Probably not, but I do got to give this game its due. It's a Rainbow Six game. I'm I'm probably more geared to because I'm more of a casual player than I am a hardcore player when it comes to Rainbow Six Siege. So it falls a little bit more in my alley. But you and I are probably different, and that's why I have to give Rainbow Six. I'm sorry, Rainbow Six Extract. Uh, I cannot speak today. That's why I have to get a Rainbow Six Extraction, a seven out of ten. Let me know what you think of this video, this review, thoughts on the game, put it in the comment section below. If you want to watch me stream, just look out for the channel. We will be streaming this game pretty much multiple times during the week. But thank you guys for tuning into the review, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace.